Greetings, friends, family, and survivors, and motorheads. The old bullnose IDI gets a new lift pump. We deleted the mechanical fuel pump. And we got a big block Chevy delete plate. And bought a facet uh, made by Pure Later. The 40222 which is the 9 to 11 PSI at 33 gallons per hour, and it lifts 125 inches, so it doesn't really matter where you put it on your truck. I originally had mounted it off the fuel filter with a bracket. It looked really cool and pretty, but it was just shaking so hard with the engine vibration. I took it off the engine, and I put it here on the grounding plate. And... Everybody that runs these pumps do see an air dome, but no air gets in the fuel system by the nature of the design of the pump and the the IP, the injector pump on these distributor pump types have a air fuel separator uh, built into them anyway. So, and it works to a degree and I have no evidence at all that it's had any air in the line. So I think this is working beautifully. I took it for a test drive today and you can bury your foot in it. It doesn't smoke at all. It lights off instantly. And the beauty of doing it this way is with these mechanical fuel pumps, if you ever run your truck out of fuel, what you have to do is um, put fuel in the truck, obviously, and come in here and press on the Schrader valve to bleed the air off while you're cranking the engine over, usually jumping your start solenoid here. And quite often, you'll drain your batteries before you ever get fuel to the engine. Stupid idea, but you have to remember, back in 83, it was a brand new concept, putting a diesel in a pickup truck. So uh, they grabbed what they had. International had been making that corn binder engine for years. And, uh, yep, they put it in, and kind of a cult following has been uh, started back then with, with pickup trucks ever since. When you put an electric fuel pump in, what it does is you can put fuel back in your tank and go in and turn the ignition on, and the fuel pump starts. Come over here and bleed the air off the Schrader valve, and when you see fuel go in and start the truck, it'll light off instantly. And you can take a situation where you've lost fuel from being out of fuel or whatever to having the system purged and running in under a minute. And that's worth an awful lot to me. So I'm happy with this. There is some evidence that the higher pressure lift pumps do increase the timing on the injector pump. And I think I have advanced it a little bit, possibly one degree. We'll see how she, she runs. Um, if I can find somebody who has a ferret meter where I can time this thing, absolutely I will. Other than that, I'm going to have to do it by ear. So I hope that helps somebody. Um, these are about $125. And I think well worth the investment. So one of my boys had a friend that had a tailgate. So I'll be putting this tailgate back in service. I should be getting a new fuel tank for the front tank. Be here in a couple of days. And then as far as I can tell, I'm, I've got a new power brake booster. And thank you, Jeff at Elderly Iron. He said, you're just looking in the wrong places. He gave me a phone number and I gave him a call. And sure enough, all his normal distributors, there aren't any of these vacuum boosters left in the country. And the shops that rebuild them are all closed up. So... I called the guy, and he did find one out of San Bernardino, and it'll be here on Monday. So that's the one that's the dual diaphragm. It's six and a half inches thick this way, I think nine and a quarter that way. And then as the, what is it, FT-47 rod end, and they're just a rare animal. So that's the over 8,500 pound trucks, and... The truth is, they didn't make very many of these in 83. When the diesels came out, most of the trucks that they made were two-wheel drive, under 8,500 pound diesel 
rear tank only. And so you can get parts for the rear tank, but you can't get parts for the front tank. There weren't very many of them made, and nobody's making new parts for that front tank. So um, who'd have thought that 83 would, you'd have a hard time getting parts for an 83. 83 wasn't very long ago, was it? Very long ago. Let's see. 83, I was a manager at Snow Valley Corporation. I wonder how old I was. I was in my 20s, mid-20s probably. Climbing towers for a living. And wrecking snowmobiles. And breaking bones. Hmm. I guess that was a long time ago. What were you doing in 1983? All right, folks. Have a blessed day.